The reviver of the Hebrew language hated the word for tomato. Now you may think that the tomato-tomato debate in English is bad enough, but during the revival of Hebrew, there was a heated debate on what to call the fruit in the language. You see, the Italian word pomodoro had entered Arabic as bandura, and this was good enough for Eliezer ben Yehuda, the initial reviver of modern Hebrew, who adopted the word as badura. However, Harav Yechiel Michel Pines preferred the etymology of the French word pomme d'amour, which means love apple in English. He wants to use a Hebrew root for this word and thus coined akbanit, which soon people started pronouncing akvanit, and after a few years it became akvania, the same word as today. However, there was one problem. The word akvania was not from the Hebrew root for love, but rather the root for lust. Thus, some people tried to fix this with the word ahavania, but it never really caught on. The word agvania is also related to agevit, which is the name of a certain disease constructed through lustful desires, and for Ben Yoda, this was simply too vulgar for a word as innocent as tomato. But only himself and his family used Badura, and it never fully caught on. And that's the story of why, 